when I was a kid, I always wondered how machines worked, be it cars, airplanes, guns, whatever they may be. I always wanted to understand more about them. And uh, one day I stumbled upon a TV program which was a telecast of a robotics competition. And uh, that day I felt that robots are the coolest machines on the planet. And uh, my fascination towards the field of robotics has begun. And when the time to choose a degree for engineering has uh, come, I learned of an engineering program called Mechatronic Engineering. And uh, at that time, that was the closest that I could get to direct robotics profession. So although it required me to travel to a different country, although it was very new at that point of time, and it didn't have very clear career options, I still pursued it because of my passion. And uh, in the university, for the first year and a half, I had a lot of fun building small machines and interesting robots, tiny robots, and uh, it was going fine. But every one of us will come across a day when we will see a problem and uh, we cannot ignore it beyond that. And it sticks with us. A similar situation has happened to me as well. I came across uh, an article which was uh, about farmer suicides in the country and uh, I straight away didn't like it. I didn't feel emotional, I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that a person who's making cell phones, laptops and computers is able to lead a very comfortable and luxurious life. Whereas somebody who's growing food for us, without whom our survival and the entire civilization would be at stake, isn't all happy, isn't comfortable at all. And uh, I wonder if science and technology can bring some power back into the hands of farm. And uh, since that day, my life mission kind of became that, to upgrade the agriculture and health being in farm. And uh, as time went by, I, I had graduated and uh, I immediately wanted to start building products or solving the uh, farmer problems. But in order to save up sufficient funds to fund this project, I landed myself in a cool tech job in Hong Kong. And uh, after a couple of months, I had just turned 24. I was living in a lovely country, having the fun of my life, but the desire to bring farm technologies or to solve farm problems has not left me and it kept growing. And one day when I couldn't wait any longer, I resigned and came back to India. And after coming back to India, I spoke to several farmers, visited several farms to try to understand what are their key issues. And uh, I realized one thing then, that majority of the Indian farmers are small and marginal landholders, but the equipment, the farm equipment available in the market are mostly suitable for people with large farms. And uh, I saw a potential to, for a product, for a smart, small product, which suits well for a small farm land small land small small farm land holder which could optimize their operations cut down costs as well as increase yields and beyond this point i had formed a team of three rented an apart rented an apartment converted it into our lab laid soil in one corner of it to simulate farm terrain and started research and development for this product and uh, after several iterations, months of hard work and failures, finally we managed to build a very rugged, customizable, multi-terrain robot and we called it X100. And what X100 is specifically designed for seed seeding at a very precise spacing and depth as well as weed control, pest control, 
fertilizer microdosing in many other pharma activities in the future. And we are going to launch a service in 2021 through which a farmer can read out this report with the click of a button. So what's the impact that X100 is going to create this particular robot? Firstly, essentially we are helping out the entire ecosystem. Firstly, the farmer, he gets to get access to the robot with the click of a button and his farm operations will be done at a fraction of cost, very precisely, very efficiently, which will yield in better yields. Cost cutting and higher yields means better income for the farmer. And secondly, we are helping the environment. The soil quality, soil health is preserved because the robot uses the best scientific practices to perform those field operations. And lastly, and finally, uh, it's us ourselves. The chemical free and organic food that's grown through this robot, with the help of this robot, is going to bring us good health to all of us and uh, that's the impact of this particular robot and upon seeing what a thought could do with consistent uh, perseverance we the entire team at x machines has come up with one mission statement to go forward which was to build robots in AI for the benefit of humanity and uh, since that day we started exploring various areas into which we could deploy our robots and solve some of the problems. For example, we are in the process of deploying. For example, we are developing, upgrading the capabilities of X100 to deploy it in a, to automate risky operations in hazardous factories, such as chemical factories. We are also adding more functionality to, to the robot to use it for de-mining operations in order to save the lives of soldiers. And in the process, when COVID happened, we also built a new robot for disinfecting public spaces such as offices, schools, shopping malls. And uh, we will continue to innovate and solve problems for many more industries in the future. And we believe one day we could put some of our robots on Mars for the benefit of humanity. And I truly believe that all of us, each and every one of us, are capable of making a difference to somebody else's life if we truly cared about that. Thank you.